And everyone, I would like to share with you a video about how we surrender ourselves before God, surrender ourselves to the Holy Spirit, and we should also know the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because after we receive our Jesus Christ, God gave us a helper, an advocator, a, comfort, a comforter, and that is the Holy Spirit, the third person of the trion. And He is the one who is living in us because He is our power. And we need Him every day. So that's why when we wake up early in the morning, we need to pray. And we need it. And it's so important because when we pray, it does not mean that we're asking because we need something from God. But because we acknowledge that um, we need God in our lives. We need the Holy Spirit. We need Him as we walk, as we uh, follow um, the calling of our God to us that we could see more the power of the blood of Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. So I have a video from David Hernandez that would um, help us and encourage us um, how to surrender um, ourselves before um, our God. Surrender to the Holy Spirit is strict obedience to His Word. Surrender to the Holy Spirit is strict obedience to His voice. Surrender to the Holy Spirit is Jesus in the garden just before his crucifixion, crying out, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. But nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. That's surrender. Every time that you choose holiness over sin, that's surrender. Every time you choose prayer over Netflix, that's surrender. Every time you choose the sacred over the entertaining, that's surrender. Every time you choose to read the scripture, instead of scrolling down some social media feed, that's surrender. Every time you choose to walk out when a movie is filthy and get made fun of by your friends, that's surrender. Every time you choose to not participate in gossip, that's surrender. Every time you choose to say no to that secret sin, that's surrender. Every time you choose to give, when your flesh wants to withhold, that's surrender. Every time you evangelize, when you're too tired to do it, that's surrender. Every time you choose his will over yours, every time you bow to Jesus as Lord instead of yourself as Lord, anytime you choose God over others, anytime you choose the approval of God over the approval of man, that's surrender. Surrender is the utter giving away of your life piece by piece to die a thousand deaths a day, to say no to the flesh a thousand times a day, to say yes to the Holy Spirit a thousand times a day, to say, God, I'll serve you even when I don't feel like it. God, I'll serve you even though I'm facing trial and heartache. God, I'll serve you even when my doubt is clouding the judgment of my mind. God, I will serve you even when things aren't going the way I want them. God, I will serve you even if it means giving up my dreams to accomplish your will. God, I will serve you even if no one else goes with me. God, I will serve you even if my family and my friends call me crazy and I'm the only one with my last name serving you. God, I will serve you even if it means death to self. That is surrender, my friend. Surrender unto the Holy Ghost every part of your being. Surrender unto the Holy Spirit every aspect of who you are. To pour your life out like a drink offering and squeeze until every last drop has been given. To put yourself on the altar and not get off. To put your flesh on that cross and not to let it have a resurrection. To choose a lifestyle of worship. To choose a lifestyle of prayer. To consecrate your every day. To lock yourself away in times of seclusion with the Lord as we see in Matthew chapter 6. To choose to say yes to the spirit and no to the flesh. To subject that part of you which desires against what the Holy Spirit desires. To surrender all. Surrender everything. This is what it means. What is the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love is selflessness. We know that because the Bible says, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Joy that is grounded by contentment in God's presence and confidence and hope. Godly joy is eternal because it's based on the eternal. Peace with God, peace within, and peace with others is a work of the Spirit. Patience isn't just the ability to wait, but to have the right attitude and mindset while you wait. 
Kindness is empathy, generosity, and civility. Goodness is moral excellence and purity. Faithfulness is consistency and reliability. Gentleness is meekness or humility. Humility isn't self-hatred or the denial that you have value. Humility is to see yourself soberly in reference to who God is. Self-control is mastery of self and cravings, to do what you should even when you don't want to, to not do what you shouldn't even when you do. What fruit is the Holy Spirit currently working on in you?